Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we finally, well yesterday actually, finally made in the F405 flight controller with the Frog Race, the Emax 2306 2400 KV and the iPika 32-bit 35 amp ESCs. So how did this guy do? Well before we begin let me just tell you a couple things I had to do before I take on flight. So after I built this video Maytek actually contacted me and they told me to do a couple things before flying it. Now they said to add a yaw offset of 270 degrees in beta flight because um, I guess the software they had it all mixed up in there or there was I don't know if the gyro was placed wrong. So you have to set that up negative 90 or 270 degrees on the yaw offset for it to fly or you'll just keep trying to just spin back to its place. Anyways, that's one thing. Another thing, it's highly recommended you disable the SD card logging because it's a bit buggy right now in the software. So I will leave the link, I will leave uh, that command down in the description. So we had to disable the SD card logging and fix the yaw offset. Uh, this I, I got contacted bef before I got to fly this guy. And also they said, please add the low ESR capacitor. And they said, it's not because of video noise, it's more like the noise can, if you have a noisy setup, it can touch the gyro because the gyro is very sensitive. So they're saying that there could be possible leaks from the 3.3 volt regulator to uh, jump into the gyro and kind of cause you some problems. So we don't want any gyro problems, and at least I didn't want. So I just stuck the, key, the low ESR capacitor on there. And that's all I did. And so it was just those three things. So I took it out for a flight yesterday and I was just absolutely amazed. Perfect video. I can't, I've never seen such perfect video in my life. So now I know what perfect video actually looks like. No lines, nothing. N full punch outs on every level of throttle. It was absolutely clean. Hard rolls, uh, everything, no blackouts. It was clean, it was flying amazing, smooth. Uh, stock pids was flying great. Uh, however, I was running D-Shot 600. I didn't want to put up with Betaflight 3.2, which is a bit buggy still, kind of, and run D-Shot 1200. So I just stuck it with just with the default software, firmware on there, Virgin, I forgot, maybe 3.1 or something. I just left everything default. I just did those three changes and just flew it like any other normal person would. Okay, I didn't need to get all uh, just... 3.2 and then put pro shot or even d shot 1200 no no d shot 600 uh default firmware and just take it out of how it comes straight from the factory or the distributor to you that's what i did and to be honest i, I, I didn't know what to expect uh the testing showed it was perfect i kept feeling like i did so i was doing something wrong while i was testing and today it just uh, just it just showed me that it was this board is actually perfect really um the, the flight was amazing uh no problems at all i really just enjoyed it however i had a problem with the motor i know one of these motors is bad now so that was after the third flight but uh the first two flights were just perfect uh stock pids if it was a bit loose but i mean if i wanted to enjoy my quad and not put up with anything i, I would definitely i would have definitely enjoyed flying that whole day with this guy um uh, this board seems very reliable usually have to put up with a bunch of headaches sometimes to get a board just flying tighten the loosen these the dampeners or tighten them or something's coming loose no, no that's it this 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 frame this setup this board is just absolutely perfect um i enjoyed it um this is i think this is my favorite quad but not yet why until i fix these motors then i can s consider it to be in my favorite list and maybe could be my lx5 i'm not sure yet but once i replace these motors with something else once i find something uh nice for this guy then we can recheck this out but now back to the board the board was that's it perfect i can't see anything else it's good it's that good it's very good um they give you everything all your problems are solved within four minutes solder an esr capacitor make two changes in beta flight go fly and have fun that's it I mean, saying that you have, you know, working ESC is a working motor, VTX and camera and all that kind of good stuff. But in the, in, the, in the board perspective, I think it's very reliable and it's very clean, very good. Um, and um, I do recommend it. I, I, I wouldn't think twice before recommending this one. Um, I've had many people also email me tell them, telling me this is the best board they've ever used. It's so clean, no headache, just put it on and fly. And they're even telling me they're not even gonna be trying anything else anymore because it just does everything 
and it literally does everything you have osd you have a current sensor you have amazing clean voltage regulators for your vtx and for your 5 volt osd and your camera um what else do you have they give you a low ASR capacitor they give you everything except an xt60 connector but who cares about the xt60 connector it's it's just that good it's good it's perfect and that's enough talking for me i really it, that's it that's all i could keep saying it's it's very good um it's it's that yeah, it's good i do recommend it if you're thinking about it don't even think and just go grab one um it's that good uh, i could say this with confidence that this is a good board because i have tested it this is the second phase of my testing and the third phase is still coming but these two phases they just it, it just passed 100 percent. so um Maytech is doing a hell of a job. They really are doing a hell of a job. And um, I just hope they keep doing what they're doing. So, or I mean, they probably don't need to do anything anymore. That's it, this one is perfect, it'll do the job. I don't think any other board can replace it now. Um, I think this is, this is, they just put, you know, a brand new level and all-in-one flight controllers in my perspective in my opinion everyone has their own opinion you know in this uh, community and and all these reviewers but in my opinion for my testing um i see that um yeah they just they just said the, the you know for 35 dollars you can get the best board ever really uh the price quality and reliability and packaging Packaging, not as in how beautiful the packaging is, as in they give you solutions for possible problems, such as a low ASR capacitor and, and the rubber dampeners. So you really don't have to go scour the internet to find all these little crappy bullshit parts just to put your F4 flight control or the sensitive gyro to fly good. You know, this is everything's built in. They give you everything just right, and it's up to you to get it just right. However, I do recommend you tape your ESCs. Uh, because a, a zip tie will cause vibrations and the, sen the gyro is sensitive so that take that into consideration tape your ESCs now it doesn't take much common sense nobody really told me about this but I mean it's pretty obvious you know if I put a zip tie here it'll just keep playing but tape them down and that should keep the vibrations to a minimum um, this is just my let's just say my uh, advice to you it's, it's it has nothing you, you could get away with zip tying them down but i'm just saying you know take it out to the field and it starts vibrating and you don't know from where and it'll just piss you off you know just do it from the beginning and get it over with and that's all i could say right now so i'm going to show you guys the fpv footage while i am commenting on it and um yeah it, it was just a good video it was it was it was very clear very clean very good and i'll let you guys see so enough talking and let's jump to the video guys All right, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's when I've noticed when it gets kind of uh, this is the maiden fly when it gets kind of foggy and humid, I do get a lot of breakups in my video feed usually. Sometimes it doesn't even reach to the end of the field, but that's just something weird. I still haven't you know confirmed it, but I, I've noticed this more than once, and this was very humid just right before the uh, storm. So we're about to take off now. I think I'm just recording the GoPro here, and. Come on. So, walking away. <laughs> I don't want this to blow up in my face, so I usually put them way far away from me, so um, sometimes I'm unpredictable. And there we go. So, I make sure no weird jitters, and then I just take off nice and easy. That was pretty easy. So, look at that. It's crystal clear i don't know how you guys are going to see it after the encoding but absolutely no noise zero zero lines zero nothing uh this breakup is is from either the recording or from my uh from my antenna but other than that it's just is just very good look at that i'm just doing flips back and forth see i also feel it's not locked in it's kind of loose but that's totally fine it just needs tuning it's on stock pids um I was a bit afraid to push it hard here because I actually um, I was making another video from F200 and I just broke it and um, I don't want to break this one just yet so fast rolls it's doing just fine it's flying just perfect I think there is a little bit of oscillations but those can be tuned out or we can use uh, the filter for the gyro but I don't think it's gonna need a filter it's just gonna be fine with the uh, normal tuning look at it it's just good I mean it's just flying. I mean, right now, if I wanted to enjoy it, I would just enjoy it. And no problem at all. 
However, I think the IP are actually looking at this now. I think active braking is turned off. I mean, yeah, turned off. We need it on. So, actually, maybe we should turn that on next time and see if it makes a difference. It feels like it, it seems like it. Or maybe it's just, it's just the quads that loose. I just can't tell right now. So, I'm just flying. I'm just really enjoying it here. I'm taking it easy. Um, no noise on all throttle levels, so that's very good. Look, that was a f punch out, nothing. Oh, yeah, it's 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 just good. That's it. Um, I I can't see anything else, but it was just very good. I really much enjoyed it. Um, I haven't enjoyed a quad just like this out of the box in in a while. And there's a nice crash. Now I crashed here because I felt like someone was crawling on my leg. <laughs> and uh, now we just turn it back on and fly it back. So yeah, overall this was a very good quad. Um, very good board and frame and the motors um, I'm very upset with the motors uh, after this flight they just started acting up and um, that's it I'm gonna replace them with something else so yeah um, if you are thinking of getting this board get it I do recommend it um, there's it's just good it's just it's that good I just can't I'm just so sick of hearing myself saying it's good it's perfect that's it it's just good so if you guys want it just grab one it's very good I do recommend it and I really had it I really enjoyed it usually I, I, I put up with a bunch of crap before I can enjoy a quad this good this was the first battery and uh, this was the first flight of the day also so it was it was good it was enjoyable I had very much fun until this this little guy here had to uh just uh, mess up let's just leave it at that word just get screwed basically um, so I'm gonna replace these motors with something else maybe the new brother hobby motors um, I'm actually starting to like brother hobby motors they're actually very good I've, I've had some very hard hits with my uh, uh, Jeb RC uh, and uh, they're just there I thought one of them broke but actually just had dirt in it and it, when it came out it was just it was perfect I flew it yesterday it was just amazing so overall this flight controller is great it's good it passed the test it passed the flight test it passed the noise test in real life testing and on bench testing uh everything so um uh, this is a winner this is a hundred percent winner in my book and this is the number one if you ever ask me for what flight control i should get i'm always going to tell you this from now on until i get something better so uh do i recommend this board yes go ahead and grab one do you have nothing to lose uh you're only just going to gain um a very good experience if you do those three things that i told you change the yaw direction uh, offset, uh, disable the SD card logging, and just stick your lawyer's like capacitor that they give you with it, and you should be good to go. However, you know, I haven't put this board with some very, very crappy ESCs just yet, um, but we'll do that on the next build. And as of the, f let's just say this is the second phase of my testing on this board, it's it's been 100%. So the, the first test was on the lab, was 100%, passed by 100%. This is the second test here, and it passed thousand percent here i really enjoyed it and that's really it that's all i can say so i really hope it helped you out there and really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions just let me just let me know and um i'll do my best to answer or try to do your suggestions and um that's it guys i really hope i helped someone out there and please don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you guys could share that'd be amazing so that's it guys take care and i'll see you next time see you guys